in this video I will show you the basics of the shader editor and all the notes that you need to know as a beginner. So once you open Blender you will know the default cube is going to be there. Now we are going to be using the shading workspace for this tutorial as we're going to be using the shader nodes. So if we go in the top over here in the top you will see um, shading right here. You can click on that and you'll get a shading workspace. You don't have to worry about this and this because this is the UV and this is the UV editor and uh, um, this is where you save it. So I'm just going to quickly, if you get the corner and drag, you can like um, get rid of that and this. Make sure the two, these two don't come. Like we need to like drag it like that and then move it like that and then like that. We only need these two panel, these two windows right here. Now this is where we're gonna um, apply our nodes. Okay, this is where we're gonna put our nodes. Right now we have no nodes because we need to press new. Now I'm gonna get the new nodes. Now the default node is the principal BSDF. This is where you can change the base color. The base color is currently white, as you can see. You can change anything and change it to red, as you can see. Now it changed to red. The metal is obviously going to if, it, if the one is metallic, as you can see, it's metallic. Zero is not metallic, and then roughness. Um, zero is shiny. One is not shiny. Okay, as you can see, as you can see, this is very shiny. Leave it at 0 0.5, which is going to be between shiny and not shiny. And you don't have to worry about the IOR. It's just between the white and the color that you've chosen. Okay, and then alpha is something to do with the um mask but you don't have to worry about that because you won't be using that using it that much now the normal we're going to look at the normal and the base color as well now first of all there are lots of nodes that you use now the not from the normal you would normally use a bump node you will use a bump node i will tell you what bump. if you just shift a you can add a node we're going to search the bump node as you can see it comes up like that so do it like that, the bump node will come. Now, just to let you know, you can only plug in to the inputs with the same color, okay? Sorry for the sirens. Um, you can only um, plug in with the same input color. So if purple goes into purple, it can't go with the other one. But if it, if, if it does go, you will see that conversion and it will look kind of weird as well. As you can see, it's looking a bit weird. So it doesn't really work like that. So we're going to put that. We're going to unplug that. Now the bump node, it adds bump to it. It adds crevices. Right now, it does, you guys, you can see, it doesn't, it, there's no crevices right now. Because we need a we need a driver for this. So we're going to put, I'm going to do, we're going to, if we do, if we get this and move it out like that. And you let it go, you can add a node. And we're going to add the noise texture right here. As you can see, this is a node and it's a factor node. We plug it in. Now, as you can see, this add bump. Without this, without this node, without this node, this bump node is nothing. It really can't do anything. It's useless. For the bump node to work, you need to add a noise texture node for it to do those bump like that. Now, now what we need to do, you can change the scale. As you can see, the scale like that. You can see the effect for that, the detail, how much detail there is. As you can see, at zero, that's that's the detail. Now, fifteen, that's the detail, and the roughness, how shiny or not shiny it is, and the distortion, all that stuff, like that. You can really you can get cool effects. Now that is really really cool. Now what I'm just going to do is that I'm going to add another cube, and move it across like this. Now for this cube, we have this. For the other cube, we're going to have another shade editor workspace for this. We're going to press new. And I'm going to change the color to like blue. Now I'm going to show you how to add noise texture to the base color. So we can add a noise texture to the base color as well as they're compatible. Noise texture. Get the noise texture there. You can do the color, but we're going to do the factor. As you can see, we have this effect. It's black and white as you can see we have the color is gone as you can see we don't really we can't really drive the color right now to drive the color we have a node called the color ramp 
I'm gonna just plug it and get the color ramp node. I want to get the color ramp node. Just move this. G to grab and move the node and plug this in there. As you can see, the color ramp is black and white. As you can see, the color ramp is the, over the cube is black and white over here. So if we change this, change the color. Let's say it's brown, this orange color like that, and make it a bit darker, and change the white to about this and a bit more darker as well. You can see that you can get this kind of effect. Now you can also add if you if you have a shortcut called Control T. This is a shortcut to add a mapping and take a coordinate node. It will make your texture a bit more better. If Control T doesn't work for you, it's because you haven't um you don't have an add-on. If you go to Edit Preferences, you need to in in add-ons you need to have Node Wrangler enabled. This one right here. Okay, then it will work for you. Now, lastly, the what I'm last thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you how to add textures. For you can add textures with only one simple key. I have a video in that. The link's going to be in the bio. I have a video dedicated to this. I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. Shift. I'm going to add another cube. I'm going to move it on the Y and move it across like that. I'm going to get a new shader. I'm going to make it. Now we need to add a texture to this. Now the way we add texture to this is that we just um get this. So you just do Control Shift and T when you select this Control sh Control Shift T. I remember you need to have no triangle enabled. When you do Control Shift T, you can literally find your um image texture and then it would work. Right now, I don't have an image texture available, but you can get image textures from our free website called polyhaven.com. So if I go go and search up polyhaven.com, I have the link in the description. This one right here. Then you can get textures and you can browse the texture like that, as you can see these. And then when you do Control Shift D, it will literally add all those textures for you just in a minute. But you have to select them first, and then last like that, you would get your textures. So I hope you liked this video and you understood how um, shader editors work. I hope you um, enjoyed the video as well. Don't forget to share this to anyone who needs help with the shader editor. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in another video.